Hello guys, welcome back. So, big freaking announcement. I'm having a baby. I know. I was probably the most shocked out of anyone. <laughs> like, I know you guys are shocked because, like, I didn't really share the relationship. Oh, I did. You guys, you guys knew I was talking to somebody, seeing somebody, dating somebody, whatever. For me, it's, like, hard to be, like, we were in a relationship because we were only seeing each other for, like, four or five months before we broke up. And then I found out two days later I was pregnant. Like, me and him still talk, but he didn't want a kid at all. Um... I didn't want an abortion at all. So, here we are. So, I am actually 14 weeks right now. As of yesterday, I just got ice cream. And uh, I had to pull off to eat it. Because I thought this place sold milkshakes. But they sell, like, ice cream mixed with, like, um, Italian shave ice. You see it down at the bottom? Interesting. It's called Hoonies. But this is strawberry shortcake. It's so good. I'm on an ice cream kick right now. It's one of my cravings. Um so I didn't think about there's a lot of kids that go to like cookout and stuff kids like teenagers you know anyway so gosh okay let's see where do we start um I found out February the 4th I was um not really having any symptoms I hadn't even really missed my period yet um but I, uh, maybe this wasn't, I swear before I started recording, it was like so quiet and chill. There was like some guys talking, they just left the gym, they were hanging out talking, but like there was no craziness going on until I started recording this video. Um, anyway, so I had not been having any symptoms. Like after I found out, I was like, mm, that could have been a symptom, that could have been a symptom, but there was nothing in my brain that was like a red flag to me that was like, I'm pregnant. Like I have for sure had scares before that, um, in the past where I felt like my period was late and I, you know, was getting all these, like, cause the thing is, is like my period, I always get, my boobs always get sore and, um, I get different food cravings and stuff like that. So nothing was standing out in my head that I was like, I'm pregnant, you know? Um, the only thing that was a little off was I had been having some really bad cramps. Um, worse than my norm. And I also noticed that when I would take medicine for them, it didn't seem to be doing anything. And I hadn't had that since I was a teenager. Um, cause that used to be something, you know, but I've also had a lot of stress in my life. So I thought, well, maybe it's because, you know, my grandpa has Alzheimer's and dementia and that's been really stressful because I see him all the time. So I watch him, I've been watching him kind of, um, I don't want to say go downhill. Oh Lord, there's two people almost wrecked. Mm. Anyway, so I've been, uh, watching him, you know, and, uh, seeing the progress with that and we've been trying to get him to go to an assisted living but he doesn't want to go and he's basically too independent to make him go at this point so dumb like basically because like his main thing is that he needs help administering medication but because like his insurance and all that doesn't find him doesn't declare him like incompetent or anything like none of the stuff is covered under insurance like he'd have to pay out of pocket and he doesn't think he needs it so we've been battling that so anyway when I started having those period cramps and everything I was like and they felt at first they felt more like menstrual cramps um and then like kind of TMI but I kind of realized like right before I found out I was like am I constipated I was like I kind of maybe feel like I'm constipated the pain was different like it started not feeling period crampish anymore um because they started I thought my period was going to come early um because usually y'all are going to be getting a lot of info about me in this video <laughs> um usually I start cramping the week before my period starts that's always how I know it's coming and when it'll be here is because I start cramping and then maybe I get like one day that I'm not cramping and then usually start bleeding the next day right so I know TMI but 
that's how I knew, right? Was that I felt like the cramping was going on too long. My boobs were like more sore and swollen than they'd ever been in my life. Um, I also felt, like I said, that my cramps were getting from menstrual into more like constipation slash like lower back pain. Like, I don't know. It was very different. And now I know, obviously I'm pregnant and that was like my little bones moving around, getting ready to carry a baby. So that's why. Um, anyway, me and the baby's father, um, I decided to break up with him because, um, we just like, it, you know, the, I think the initial lust was wearing off. And then also like, I realized like I had so much going on with my grandpa that I was like, maybe now is not a good time for me to be in a relationship. So ended things with him on a Friday night. Um, Sunday morning I woke up and I just had this thought in my brain. I was like, you should take a pregnancy test. Didn't think I was pregnant at all. Like, to the fact that, because I had been keeping some around the house, I had one left, and I was like, because I was having sex, so I was like, I like to have them around. And, um, I had one left, and I was like, it's honestly going to be wasting it to take this test. And, uh, but I was like, well, but me and him just broke up, so I'm not going to be sleeping with anybody anymore, so why not just take it, right? So, I took a... And what's also interesting is in the past, whenever I've taken a pregnancy test, I've just kind of held it under and peed, you know. But this time, for some reason, I had a feeling I should, like, pee in a cup and then, like, do the dip thing in it. Um, where you hold it for, like, a few seconds. I don't know why. Just, like, randomly got this instinct. I was like, that's how I'm going to do it. So, I think I had one of the first response. And it has the two circles, right? In the first circle, if you're not pregnant, it stays clear. And the second circle gets a line, no matter what, if you're pregnant or not pregnant. So I dipped it in there and I was watching it. Um, and it literally goes over the first thing, the circle, immediate line, immediate. Before the second e circle even went, it was just like, no, you're pregnant, bitch. And I was like, no way. I didn't even believe it. I was like, it's wrong. <laughs> it's freaking wrong. There's no way. So I told him, he's like, what the fuck, like, freaking out, and he's like, what are you going to do, are you going to keep it, da, da, da. I was like, well, let's, like, make sure it's, like, real first, because I was like, sure, I was like, this is not right, like, it's incorrect, you know, um, so, like I said, this is Sunday, so Monday morning, I just got new to insurance and everything, so, like, I hadn't used it yet. So I start calling around places because I'm like, I don't know what to do. I've never done this before. I didn't want to tell anybody. I told Becca and him. That was the only two people that I knew. Oh, and I think I told my sister too. And um, Becca's my best friend, if you didn't know. I talk about her all the time, so you probably do. But um, I call around different places. I find this free women's clinic that does the... Um, they do a lot of different things. They do like pap smears, women checkups, all kinds of shit. But it's all free because it's like government buildings. It's pretty cool. Um, so I find them. I said, hey. I was like, I just got a positive pregnancy test. I was like, this never happened before. Like, I don't know what I do now. And they were like, oh, like you just come in and we're going to give you a medical test. And uh, if it's positive, then we'll like kind of tell you which way to go with it. I was like, okay. And they, I was like, well, when can I come? And she's, they, they were like, well, we have an appointment today at 11. I was like, I will be there. So I went up, went to their thing. I'm not going to dig too deep into this because I talked a lot more about what happened in the vlog. So that way I'm not like reiterating stuff, but like basically it was like a Christian based organization, which I didn't necessarily expect. I guess I should have because I'm in South Carolina. Um, so I listened to this like 30 minute Jesus talk. And then I think I, like, really offended the girl. Because she wanted to know, like, my opinions and beliefs. And I was like... I was like... You know, I believe a lot of the religions basically have the same morals and values. At the end of the day, they just have different rituals, essentially. I don't think she really liked that answer. Her face, she was like... <laughs> I was like... You ass, bitch. Um, anyway, so... Um, after I listened to this long-ass Jesus talk... 
they come in and they're like, you're pregnant. And they gave me like a little baby hat. And they're like, here, pick out a blanket and all that. And she's like, oh, there's a baby in there and all that. I was like, <laughs> what is happening? I was still not convinced. I was like, these tests are wrong. There's no way. Until I went to the nine week checkup where I saw the ultrasound and like saw a little fucker in there. I was like, wow. So this is the real deal. So anyway, on the way to the clinic to do the medical test, I kind of like realized I was like, I think if they tell me that I'm not pregnant, I'm going to be disappointed. And, um, a little backstory on that. Um, it hit me in like September. I started like, I was listening to secret. Y'all know I li re-listen to it every now and then. I was listening to it and it was talking about getting really clear on your goals and intentions and it kind of hit me. I was like, I think I want to get married and have kids. Like I was like, I kind of think that's where I'm at in my life, you know, because after 35, you um, become high risk and it's harder and the pregnancy is more difficult, all those things. So I was like, I kind of think I like want to do this like before I turn 35. So I just started seeing my ex I guess I, I like it feels weird saying ex because we weren't together that long but I guess technically we're dating so anyway just started seeing him like I'd literally gone and hung out with him like one time outside of him doing a tattoo for me and uh I told him I was like hey look I was like this is what I want I was like I want to get married I want to have kids like if that's not what you're looking for then you know I get it we don't have to keep seeing each other so he was like initially he was like he's at a different place in his life. He's 42. He's got three kids. They're all older. Um, one is the oldest, I think is 24, 23 or 24. And the youngest is 15. Um, so he only had babies. I'm like, okay, I get it. Whatever. So we stopped talking and then came around, um, like a week later and was like, I don't like not talking to you. I miss you. Let's keep talking. He's like, I'm cool with it. Me and him had full baby talks, like, you know, what I wanted, what he wanted, what gender we would want, how we would raise them, who would do what, what, where we'd want to live, what kind of house we'd want to live in. We talked about like what we'd want our wedding to be like, like I'm telling y'all, we went in deep on discussions to me, but I guess he had different views of everything. Cause he was like, I don't want a baby. I was like, whatever. Um, video is not about him, but anyway, so that's why I probably won't be seeing a lot of him and that's all right because this kid, when I tell you they are so loved is crazy. Oh my God. Um, everybody's so excited. Becca was really excited. Um, like from the get go, we were talking like gender reveal and baby showers and like what we we're going to do. We were li literally me and Becca's thing. So she helps me clean my van on Mondays. And then afterwards we literally go out to lunch and then go walk around and look at baby stuff. Like we have so much fun with it. So, um, my mom, when I sent her the ultrasound, she cried. It's her first grandbaby. She's so excited. She's already picked like what her name's going to be. She's going to be Grams. <laughs> which is cute. She was like, it's like from Charmed. I mean, like my mom got me into like the Buffy and the witchy stuff. Like, even though she's not, she's a Christian, but she loves those shows. And that's like what kind of molded me into who I am. So I thought it was cute that she's like, it's from Charmed. That's the grandma on Charmed. So she's going to be Graham. So I think that's really cute. Um, yeah. So that's how I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> and like I said, I was in strong denial. I keep like swallowing wrong recently. Strong denial up until nine weeks. So like I literally said that um, when we were going to the nine week appointment because my ex ended up coming with me and I said, I was like, what if like after all of this, like all this stress and everything, I'm not even pregnant. And he was like, you're pregnant. He's like, there's no fucking way. And I went and she put the little thing on my belly and they were like, bam, right there immediately. Like I saw them. Like it wasn't like one of those, like they're looking around, like, where is it? Like, it was just like, there's a fucking baby. And now they're big enough. I can feel them moving around. Like I can't, if I'm just sitting here, sometimes if I think about it and like focus, I can kind of feel like, 
almost like butterflies in my stomach or something like not anxiety but like you know like when your stomach turns or whatever it almost feels like that a little different though so that's how I know it's not like an anxiety thing or whatever um this guy's like okay thank you I don't think he'd be like he's got his car parked in front of me so I think he just noticed there's somebody sitting in the car I don't think he meant to be like looking at me but anyway um but if I press where they're at, I can definitely feel them wiggling around. I was reading that right now they're just like going to be really active all the time. No. They definitely are. Oh, and I say they, because I already know, somebody's already commented it. I say they because I'm doing it like you would a um, non-binary person because you guys don't know the gender. <laughs> so I know the gender. You guys will know for a little bit but there's only one baby. I am not having twins. I'm only having one. Um, but that's confused a lot of people because I'm like, I want to say it. And then like being like the baby every time is like a lot, you know? So crazy things are happening. So anyway, I've got a first trimester vlog. I can do one for the second trimester. I am considering if it works out maybe doing a separate channel for like baby family stuff so that way for you guys that don't give a shit about babies I can um put that shit elsewhere but for now I'm gonna do it in fully separate videos so that way those that just come for grooming can get specific grooming videos and those that come for baby can get specific baby videos so you know what you're looking at so it's not like doing a haircut talking all about being pregnant the whole time you know doing those kind of things I'm trying to make it make sense I guess so new adventures we had a lot of this ice cream <laughs> I was like I got that I was like there's no way I'm eating all that but that, this is what happens I start going and then I end up finishing it and I'm like damn and I'm not a sweets person that's the funniest part I started thinking about it I think there was another time before I found out that I am I'm like 99% sure that there was another time that me and my sister went to Brewster's because I remember my ex texted me he's still in my location at that point he was like it's a little late for ice cream I wanted ice cream so bad like I'm not a sweets person that's the funny part is I'm I don't like I never eat dessert I don't ever do sweet things and my ex would he liked to make like cakes all the time and it would just drive him crazy. I'd go to his house and he'd be like, just take one bite of the cake. And I'm like, I can't. Like, I'm telling you, like, my stomach will deny it. Like, I cannot eat sweets. So, that's why it's so funny that all of a sudden it's like freaking ice cream and <laughs> stuff all the time. Or, no, it's mainly been ice cream. That's like my new one. But I noticed that my cravings don't last long. Like, I don't know that a month from now I'll still be on ice cream. I don't know if that's different for every pregnant person. Because it seems like some people it'll be like their entire pregnancy. I did go through like a pickle period. And I bought a bunch of pickles. And I was eating them like crazy for a little bit. And then I didn't want pickles anymore. I haven't craved them ever since. Just like the chicken. That all I could eat was chicken for a little bit. And then my body's like, no more chicken. I'm like... whatever they place the order and I go get it that's where we're at right now so anyway I'm getting a phone call um anyway I am going to wrap this up and go back home because I'm sitting in Greenville right now because I just went out with my grandpa for dinner um so I'm gonna run home and let my dogs out and take my trash out and all that and go to bed because you can see it's getting dark out. No. Anyway, big things are coming. There's going to be a little groom by Janine, baby. Never thought I'd see the day. But here we are. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I hope that you guys are looking forward to this journey as much as I am. I'm sure there's some people that are going to be like, fuck this bitch. I don't like babies. And you know, that's your journey, not mine. So anyway, love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.